everyone. This time we will review reliability test using Keter Richardson formula. Please subscribe on my channel. About reliability test, specifically under the Kodo Richardson. So we have Kodo Richardson approaches is the most frequently employed methods for determining internal consistency. So this particular formula required only three pieces of information. So only one shot exam here. So the number of items in the test, the mean, and the standard deviation. So we have the formula to solve for the reliability. We have the quantity K or the number of items divided by the number of items minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the mean multiplied by the number of items minus the mean divided by your number of items times the standard deviation squared. So let's have an example. Mr. Max administered a 50 item mathematics test. So it's grade 5 pupils. So we have the scores in his pupils are shown below. So there are 50 items. Then find the reliability of his test using the Kodra Richardson. So we have the test. There are 10 students, but there are 50 items. So 30, 36, 36, 22, 38, 15, 43, 25, 18, and 23. So by using the formula you need to find the mean how to find the mean you just add this all divided by 10 so add 32 36 36 22 38 until 23 divided by 10 you have the mean of 28.8 and then after that you are going to subtract mean or the x this scored minus an sa mean so 32 minus 28.8 33.2 36 minus 28.8, 7.2. 22 minus 28.8, negative 7, 6.8. 38 minus 28.8 is 9.2. And so on until 23 minus 28.8, you have negative 5.8. After that, you need to square. So to come up a positive answer. So 3.2 squared, 10.24. 7.2 squared, 51.84. 7.2 squared, 51.84. Negative 6.8 is positive, 46.24, and so on. After that, you get the total. The total here is 801.60. As we recall, the standard deviation is the square root of this mean division. So you get the total here. The total is 801.6. And then... Square root of the mean division, which is this one, you get the sum here, divided by the n, there are 10. So 800, you have there 801.60, the sum of the x minus the mean squared, divided by 10, you have 80.10, uh, 0.16. Okay, when you... Divide by, so when you get the square root, that is 8.95. So that is the mean, uh, the standard division. When you square that one, you have there 80.10 80 or 80.16. And that is the standard deviation. Uh, the variance, since you are going to square. So substitute now in the formula, number of items, 50 divided by 50 minus 1. Constant. The 1 there is constant. So multiplied by the mean. 1 minus the mean times the number of items minus the mean over the number of items times the variance. S squared, SD squared is just the variance or the square of the standard deviation. And you come up 0.86. That is 0.86, not 0.88. So the reliability index of 0.86 was obtained. So this means the test resor result are reliable so we have the internal consistency we have the reliability index from 0.61 to 0.8 that is good so this uh, test is good the internal consistency the meaning the students answer consistently so we have their 0.86 you are going to interpret that one 0 0.86 is very good all for the richard 
uh, Coder, Coder Richardson. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. You can recommend a topic to review in the future. God bless everyone.